Uh, Mr. Sebulash, you were on that ferry uh, this morning. Was there, when did you notice anything unusual? There was uh, there was never any warning. It was there was nothing unusual. It was uh, it was completely typical, typical morning, typical ride. Um, you know the ferry slowed down, and uh, you know we were it was pulling into the into the dock as it normally does. And you know for whatever reason, it, today it didn't stop. And uh, you know we had the uh, the contact, the impact, and so there, so there really was no warning. Where were you exactly? Were you standing up, or were you in the outside, in the inside? Where precisely? No, I, I was. Uh, I was seated on the second deck, uh, and some of the seating on the second deck, um, the, the seats actually face each other. So I had my back to the front of the boat, and the gentleman that was facing me, uh, he flew out of his chair uh, and kind of ended up uh, kind of facing me on my lap. Um, so I had, you know, some uh, some. Uh, problems with my knee and my uh, thigh. I've uh, been discharged from the hospital, so I'm, I'm back at work. What, what but, did you see uh, in terms of injuries around you? Um, some the people who were near um, areas where there was glass uh, suffered the worst injuries. So there's some, there's some spots at the, like the foot of the stairs uh, has an area of glass, um, and the gentleman that I saw you know, at the bottom of that foot of stairs, it was very seriously injured. Um, and I think there were some, some others who were near the glass doors that also suffered those kind of, uh, the kind of trauma and uh, significant bleeding. We've heard, um, we've heard descriptions that, that, that people essentially, it hit hard enough that people went flying. Is that, is that true? Yes. Uh, people who were standing did, uh, did experience that, that type of elevation. You know, there was, there was enough impact and the, the impact was uh, enough of a surprise that you just you, you didn't have the ability to really brace yourself. So there were people who, you know, as I was being transported to the hospital, they were recounting the stories. And, you know, one guy, four people flew into him, and he got kind of crushed up against the, uh, the, the wall of the boat. Um, and, a, and another guy kind of had a similar thing. He just, he just went flying, a 210-pound guy, um, just said he went flying down the aisle. You said a, a moment ago that there was no warning as you pulled in, you just hit. Uh, so did the crew, well, tell me what happened after you hit? What did the crew do? What did they say? Uh, the crew, the crew, you know, they came out immediately. They, they, uh, they tried to attend to, they had the first aid kits. They tried to attend to, you know, whoever was the most seriously injured. I, I don't know what was going on downstairs. The crew is upstairs, at, at least the... You know, the, the, they, draw, they, they operate the boat from, from the upstairs uh, galley. Um, those guys came out immediately. Um, I, don't, I don't remember if there was an announcement. I'm sure there was an announcement. Um, you know, it was, a, it was a little bit chaotic, but not terribly chaotic, um, at least at first. Um, passengers were trying to attend to other passengers who, uh, you know, were, were more seriously injured. Um, they were able to, we, when I looked out the window, we had been, we were probably at 100 feet from the dock, so they, he must have, they must have been able to back it up or turn it around or do something to get away from the dock, and then they slowly eased back into the dock, and, and you know, this time they were, they were able to dock. Um, and then at that point, um, you know, the EMS was pretty much there, or it was, you know, within a minute, there were, there were first responders on the boat. How frequently do you ride the uh, ferry? Uh, all the time. I've been riding it for um, 16 or 17 years, so I've probably ridden it. I was thinking about it. I've probably ridden it, um, you know, five, 6,000 times. Uh, any other uh, incidents? N n there was, um, on the Sea Street, never an incident. They, they had, um, you know, they, they operate in some some very severe weather and, you know, they, they're always able to deliver safely and relatively on time. I mean, you know, they, they operate in times when you would never want to be out in the water. They still operate and don't have a problem. There was an in, a similar incident uh, maybe 12, 13 years ago on the fast ferry um, when we were, same, same kind of situation, um, pulling into the dock at Pier 11 and they couldn't, they couldn't get it into reverse and it was, it was it was front loading, so they kind of hit the pads. It was not as severe an impact as this one was. You were on that one. Yeah, yeah. So I, I don't. Uh, 
drawing from my experience on that one, I uh, I don't stand up until the boat's uh, the boat's docked. Um, you know, because I I kind of I kind of saw what happened on that one. Uh, the injuries were not as severe, not anywhere close to this. The boat was, I think they were able to get it slowed down a little bit more than than this one was, and it hit it hit kind of straight into into the bumpers because it was front loading. Um, it wasn't as bad, um, but uh, but kind of since that time, I always you know stay seated until uh, until the the boat's tied up. Any any second thoughts about getting on a ferry again? No, no, because like I said, I mean, I've been on, you know, I've been on days when there's, you know, eight foot swells and, and, uh, you know, 40, 50 mile an hour gusts. And and these guys, you know, they're able to to dock the boat. They're able to, you know, proceed safely. They, you know, they, they try to make a, as pleasant a ride as possible. So, you know, I, look, I don't know what happened. Um, I, you know, I have no idea. I don't know if it's similar to what occurred on that, that fast ferry boat, uh, over 13 years ago in terms of a mechanical issue or what. But, yeah, I have no, no hesitation to writing again. Mr. Sebulash, thank you for joining us. Uh, we appreciate your time, sir. Okay. Thank you. Bye -bye. Good luck to you. Bye now. Thanks. Bye.